second year mechanical engineering major and I'm your current historian and today I'm going to be telling you guys all about SOLIDWORKS. So SOLIDWORKS is a computer-aided design program so it basically is a software that allows you to turn a two-dimensional sketch into a 3D object and it's really important in the design world because it allows a manufacturer to visualize their prototype before they put it into production. So there's a couple of other CAD programs out there other than SOLIDWORKS. Those include Autodesk, Ansys Design Modeler, and CATIA. But you'll find that SOLIDWORKS is pretty much the industry standard, and it's what's taught at UCR for ME majors. So we're going to start off by building something, and the first step to doing that is creating a sketch. So to start off, you need to choose the plane that you create your sketch on. For example, you'll choose the top right or front plane, and then you just draw out the shape, um, making sure that it's a closed shape and that you've dimensioned it. And then you need to make sure that your sketch is fully defined um, before you exit the sketch. So to do that, you need to make sure that all of the dimensions are defined and also that you have set all of the constraints between the lines. So for example, you've made like lines parallel or perpendicular to one another, and you'll know that your sketch is fully defined and ready to go if the lines uh, creating it have turned from blue to black. So you'll notice here that in the first picture, um, those are the planes that you choose to draw your sketch on. And then in the second picture, the drawing has been done and I've dimensioned it. And then from the second to third picture, you'll notice that the lines have turned from blue to black color. So now is pretty much the final step to creating a super basic three-dimensional object which is the process of extruding, which is turning that two-dimensional sketch into the 3D block. So to do that, you just select Boss Extrude, and then you click on the feature that you want to extrude. In this case, it's um, the sketch. And then here, I've set it to be a blind extrusion, meaning that SOLIDWORKS will um, extrude the object out from the plane that I drew it on, and I define um, the amount that the object is extruded. So here I've made that 80 millimeters. And then that's pretty much it actually, um, but there's a lot more that you can do. This is just a super basic, basically floating blob, but um, what you can do is you can add more extrusions by sketching like more shapes on that object. Um, you can also make cut extrusions. You can define the material or change like the color or background for your model, and then you can also um, fillet the object, which means that you round out any harsh edges. You can add drill holes, linear patterns, um, mirror things, or you can shell out the model. So here is what I ended up creating. It's actually um, a napkin holder that was on my kitchen table. So I just extruded it, and then you'll notice that I ended up filleting the edges, and then at the end, I just added like a little smiley face extrusion for fun. Um, so that's pretty much it. Um, I've put the link here for where you can download the SOLIDWORKS software. It does take a couple of hours, um, so keep that in mind. But it's a lot of fun to work with. Um, I definitely recommend it to any majors out there. And you can also 3D print your objects at the Creator Lab. Um, and I believe that's free. So yeah, definitely check it out, um, give it a go, and thank you guys so much for listening.